Today, I'm going to show you the easiest way to automate anything on your Chrome or Safari browser. This tool will allow you to mimic things like opening web pages, clicking on buttons, inputting forms, and typing keystrokes. The possibilities are pretty much endless when it comes to automating your browser. I'm Mo, I help professionals and entrepreneurs save time and reduce frustration through automation. Let's get right into it. So the tool I wanna show you in this video is called Keyboard Maestro. It's an app for Mac that lets you make sequences of actions to automate pretty much any workflow, and it can get extremely powerful if you spend some time learning it. We'll be able to do things like click on buttons, move through different tabs, and fill out forms automatically. Today we'll build two automations from scratch so you can understand how this works and how you can build some powerful automations of your own. We'll focus specifically on automating the browser, and I put together a macro pack to make this super easy, which you can download for free in the description below. All you need to do is install the app, and once you have it downloaded, you can double-click the macro file to add it directly to Keyboard Maestro. And then we'll just need to enable those two folders that were imported by clicking this Enable Macro Group button. So on the left side here, you'll see what are called macro groups, which are basically just folders that contain automation. So if you click on one of them, you'll see the automations or macros contained within that folder. So let's make a new folder and call this the easiest way to automate your browser. So now we have this new folder that we can create automations in. So I'll come down to the plus button to create a new macro. And the first automation we'll make is related to searching something on Google. So I'm actually going to put Keyboard Maestro on the left and I'll bring my browser to the right. And let's go to google.com. And now we can start the process of automating the browser. So if you imported these two macro groups correctly from the file in the description, then you should be able to go up to the Keyboard Maestro status menu and press this Browser Automation Actions button. So once you press that, it will pop up this window here with a bunch of different actions that you can press. So we have actions to click the selected element on the page. So if the uh, cursor were on the search bar, then we could have an action to click that. We have actions to insert text by typing or pasting, or even uh, we can press keystrokes. We can also open sites in new tabs or new windows. We can switch between tabs, we can close tabs, and there's also options to pause or repeat certain actions. So let's start by clicking on the search bar here Actually, before we do that, let's open Google in the first place. So let's click the Open Site in New Tab button. So you can see once we press that, it adds a new action within Keyboard Maestro that says Open URL, and it contains the URL of the page that we're currently on. And in fact, we really only need to go to google.com so we can get rid of the extra characters that are included within that URL. But now let's come to the next step, which would be to click the search bar so we would press click selected element and you can see that adds an action within keyboard maestro that contains some javascript to click on that search bar and then after that we want to insert some text by typing so we want to insert text into the search bar and let's add a search of mac os okay so let's test the macro up to this point before we finish it we can press the run button up top and you can see that opens a new Google search and it types Mac OS into the search bar. Now, after we've typed Mac OS, we want to press enter to complete that search. So let's do the press a keystroke action here. And we could change this to any key we wanted. So if we highlight the uh, selection here and type any letter or modifier key, um, so like if you typed command A, it would include that in there. But in this case, we just want to press return to submit the search box. So let me close out these tabs and let's try to run it again. So I'm gonna run it. You can see it opens Google search, it types out Mac OS and it presses return to submit that search. Now this is awesome. In just a few minutes, we created a simple automation within Google, but now let's think about how to trigger it because you don't always wanna press run from uh, Keyboard Maestro itself. 
And there's actually some very handy ways to trigger these automations that we create. So one of the easiest and most simple ways is to create a hotkey trigger. So this is basically just a keyboard shortcut. So I could type something like Command Shift G for Google search. And now regardless of what app I'm in, um, you know, if I'm in the browser, I, I can close Keyboard Maestro completely if I wanted, but I can press Command Shift G and it will run that automation, which is amazing. There are also other triggers within Keyboard Maestro, like you could set up a time of day trigger, which is down here. So if you wanted an automation to run on a certain website every day or every couple days of the week at a certain time, you could set that up. So you can get very granular with how you want these automations to run. This is really just the tip of the iceberg in terms of what's possible with Keyboard Maestro. In fact, I run a program called the Automation Accelerator for professionals and entrepreneurs just like you. If you want me to personally help you automate the tedious tasks in your work and save hundreds of hours a year, you can book a free call with me to see if you'd be a good fit using the top link in the description below. But now let's turn to the next macro, which is a little bit more complex. So the second automation we'll do will involve Google Calendar. So I just came down here to create a new macro. And now let's come to Google Calendar. So calendar.google.com. And let's create a new event that we want to create an automation for. So I'm going to put this on the uh, right side again. And now we can think about creating an automation using these actions to fill in the details for this calendar event. So the first thing we'd want to do is click on this title here and have it insert a title. So let's uh, first make sure that is selected and then we can do click selected element with HTML. So now if we click somewhere off on the page and then do run to run the macro, um, then you can see it selected the title element there. And then after that, we'd want to insert text by typing. Let's say the name of this event would be um, create new automation. And then let's also add another hotkey trigger to this so that we can run it directly from the browser. For this one, I'll do command shift C since we're doing a calendar event. So let me type command shift C and you can see it selects the title of this event and types out create new automation. Now, after this, the next thing we could do is have it click this button to change it to an all day event. Now there's a couple ways we could do this. So the first would be to select that element on the page just using the tab button. So if you press the tab button on a web page, it will switch between different elements. Um, if you press shift tab, it will go backwards instead of forward. So let's use the tab button and make sure it's selecting this all day event. And then we can do click selected element. Now, sometimes it's hard to use the tab button or you have to do like 40 tabs to get to a certain element on the page. So there's actually another option here, which is to click selected element from its HTML. So let me make this full screen to show you how that works. If you right click on the page and press inspect, then that will bring up these scary looking developer tools. But there's actually a button up here to um, use what's called the element selector. So if you press this button up top, then you can select any element on the page without needing to press tab to get to it. So if we went to all day and just pressed this element here, once it's highlighted, you can see it selects some code on the right. And then we can just press click selected element with HTML. So that will actually copy this um, HTML over here and use that to create a new action within Keyboard Maestro. Okay, but for now we can actually delete that action since we set it already with the action before. And let's test this macro. So again, um, let me delete the title and do Command Shift C to run it. So it types in the title and successfully clicks the all day button below. And now let's think about what other actions we would want it to do. So maybe we would want it to select a location. So I'm going to click that and we can do the click selected element button. And then we can do insert text by typing and we can say the location is automation HQ. And then after that, maybe we would want it to change the notification time to instead of being one day before the event, maybe one week before the event. 
So again, let's use the tab button and we can get to the days dropdown. And then let's do click selected elements. And then after we click on that, we would want to use the down arrow key and then press enter to change it to weeks. So let's do the type of keystroke. I'll do that twice. So we said down arrow and then return to select that element. And now let's uh, try putting things back and testing the macro up to this point. So I'll press Command Shift C to run the automation and it types in the title. It types in automation HQ in the location, but then it looks like it didn't fully select the weeks tab from this dropdown. And probably that's because the macro was running very quickly. So you can see in the macro, it's pressing the down arrow and then return immediately after. But sometimes these menus take a split second to open up. So this would be a great place to use the pause action below. So maybe let's add a pause of 0.2 seconds and I'll press OK. And let's put that pause between the two actions of the down arrow and the return. And maybe we can also actually copy and paste this pause and just add a one second pause between the time that we enter the location and then the time that we try to uh, change this drop down here, just so that we can see what the macro is doing a little bit better. So let's reset things. I'll delete the name and I'll do the hotkey again. So Command Shift C types in the location and then it changes it from days to weeks successfully this time. Okay, so now that we have this macro to enter the calendar events, let's add some actions to have it click the save button. So I'll use the tab button to highlight that and then I'll press the click selected element. And you can see that adds this action to click the save button. And maybe we would want a little bit of a pause before that, maybe half a second, um, just to make sure all the details have been registered before we press save. But now let's reset things and make sure this macro is working correctly. So everything is back to normal. I'll press the hotkey, Command Shift C, it fills in the title, the location, changes it from days to weeks, and presses save. So now you can see in our browser, we have this newly created calendar event with all of the details that we set in our macro. So this has been a very basic introduction to automating in the browser. If you want to see more content like this, please leave a comment letting me know. And if you enjoyed this video, you might like this one next about automating mouse clicks on your Mac. Thanks for watching.